Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we got an LG G Pad X 10.1. This is the V930, the LG V930. And it's got a cracked screen. So we're going to separate it uh, the back. Make sure to remove the SIM card or any SD card that may be there because part of that back frame is, is in the way. So we're going to go around the edges and separate it. But it is stuck down with some uh, double sided adhesive um, attached to the middle of the back on the battery. So you want to be real careful uh, separating that. We're going to use a nylon spudger so you want to avoid using a metal tool so we don't cut into the battery or puncture it and we're just going to separate the adhesive and that's really all that's keeping this this back from coming coming off So once you've separated that, you know, it comes off pretty easily. And we just want to kind of take a look at the uh, battery, make sure it's okay. We haven't punctured it, sliced it, cut into it or anything like that. As you can see, the display still works, but it doesn't matter because we're going to replace the whole assembly, including the frame. In this particular case, that's going to make this repair go fairly quickly and make it really easy on us. First thing you need to do is make sure you disconnect the battery. You should always do that before starting on anything. And then you'll want to take a look at uh, what's what's uh, here. For example, uh, that speaker I'm pointing to, that assembly. The, if you get these with the frame, some of them will come with it, some of them won't have it. So there may be some components that are already on the, the new display and here it is as you can see it does have um, the frame and um, the front facing camera uh, it's got that speaker assembly we were pointing out a minute ago it's got the headphone jack it's got a vibrator on there but as you can see the vibrator is just uh, missing the connector so we're not going to use that we're going to take it off and use the original one it is stuck down with a little bit of adhesive so you can just warm it up a little bit makes it easier to take off so you can see here that this one has a connector on it and this speaker assembly here that I'm pointing at attaches to this cable and we're going to take this battery and the motherboard and the rear facing camera the speaker assembly, all that's going to come out, and we're going to transfer it over to the new, the new frame and display assembly. So it looks like there's only four screws on this battery. And then that comes right on out. It'll take a few minutes to just look it over, make sure there's no damage. The tape wrinkles it up a little bit, but that doesn't hurt the battery any. Just need to make sure it's not torn, ripped, cut, punctured, or anything like that. If it is, please don't put it back in. It's a very, very dangerous thing. It could catch fire. It's, it's not safe. We'll be reusing that. That's the rear camera. And then this uh, speaker assembly is just snapped in. 
and just pops out. Find a good place to kind of get some leverage under there and it'll pop right out. Now the motherboard's going to have some little tabs that will sort of keep it from, from just coming out. So you'll want to find those tabs and sort of work it loose uh, out from under those tabs. The little metal tabs are on the frame in various locations. And then the motherboard slides underneath them. Looks like a microphone that I was pointing at and then uh, just took a little moment to inspect the board. And you want to be careful with these cables because they can tear. Do a little quick inspection of that. So we pretty much have uh, everything that we're going to need off of this one. So we won't need the front facing camera or the other speaker assembly and um, these little items that I'm pointing at are sometimes on, sometimes they're not. So make sure you double check that the new assembly has those. They won't always look identical. Um, in one case they were, the old one was black and this one is, is uh, white or whatever, gray. And uh, so just make sure that they are there. If not, you'll, you'll want to remove them from the old assembly and uh, transfer them to the new one. Again, those little um, tabs stick out, so you need to get the motherboard uh, underneath those tabs so it'll slide back into position and we've done that now before we put that flex cable in and we're going to have to pull it again we're going to have to pull it loose again in order to get that in place because it does part of it belongs underneath the motherboard so we got ahead of ourselves there so we're going to make sure that the the cabling is is routed back through the little channel that piece right there has to go under the board so we're going to lift that back out so we can slide that under there make sure that's seated properly because I think there's a microphone or a, a light or something there in any case it fits down into a little rubber cavity So once again, uh, just check and make sure that you're fitting the motherboard underneath these little uh, tabs that stick out of the frame. Get all your cables out of the way. And make sure it's seated.
there's our rear facing camera now sometimes these frames are not absolutely 100% identical and you need to pay close attention to any slight variations that there might be to the frame um, sometimes it's just uh, a slight difference and you can sometimes modify um, one piece or another uh, of plastic or something that you might have to to modify in order for it to fit properly just so long as you're not modifying or trying to cut into anything that is going to cause it to not work and that would be the motherboard for example If it's just a small piece of plastic uh, that needs a slight modification to it then you know that's no big deal if it's grossly different obviously then you're not going to be able to uh, use it so but I do notice that some of these have slight variations but can still be used It could be that the maybe one frame is for the Wi-Fi model, uh, maybe one frame is for the you know model that that has cellular service, that type of thing. So you could literally have something different. But even then, um, I've seen where you can you can get these. You order exactly the the same thing uh, based on what it's you know listed as and you still find slight variations um, some do come with components again like I pointed out earlier that are already on but not all the components will be there and of course you want to make sure that those components actually work um, and that everything is functioning normal when you're done so we'll do a test make sure everything's functioning normal make sure the back is all snapped back in place and some of these backs are kind of brittle and they'll have little cracks or little chips out of them so you kind of want to pay attention to that when you're removing it make sure you don't do any more damage than what may already be there don't want to make it worse so you're going to plug it in make sure it is charging So right now it's at 1%, but we're going to go ahead and power it on. So if there's not enough charge on the battery, the camera will not work. Because we're down to only 1%, I had to let it charge for a little bit longer before we can test the, the cameras. So we're at one percent. We need we need more than that. So we had to take a few moments 
to let this thing charge so we're gonna go through a little time lapse here we're up to three four now we're out of the red and into the yellow at 18 percent that should give us enough juice to test the cameras Okay, that's the front facing camera there. Switch over to the rear facing camera. Looks like all that's good. Volume up and down is working okay. Touch screen's good. We've got cell service for GLTE. AT&T network we're actually gonna type some stuff in here browse around for a second look at there there we are So anyway, like I said, very easy repair uh, in this case. A lot of it's just part swapping. Anybody could do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye now.